Hi, I'm Nathan Bagley from Straight Shot Gunsmithing. I've put together this video to demonstrate my newest creation, the True Bore Alignment System. The True Bore Alignment System was designed, engineered, and are manufactured here at Straight Shot Gunsmithing, specifically to meet the needs of the precision-minded gunsmiths. So let's get started. First I'd like to show you how to use the True Bore Alignment System to true up a Remington 700 receiver. Here's a Pacific Tool and Gauge made truing mandrel and some bushings that I have pre-selected for the receiver raceway. You want it to be a slip fit, a snug slip fit, not a press fit, as it does not repeat as well. Install it in with a six jaw chuck. And bring it in. First, we're going to take out our angular misalignment by using these angular adjustable screws. Okay, we have about three thousandths that this rod is dropping away from us. So we are going to first install one of our 5 16 Allen wrenches in a rotational adjustable screw just to hold the chuck from spinning. I have broached those adjustment screws extra deep. And we are going to tighten to raise our rod out here. Okay, I tighten about as much as I like to tighten on that. So we're going to rotate 180 degrees, align our indicator at the same rotation as our angular adjustment screw. And make sure we have travel on our indicator. Should be seeing a bounce at least on a one ten thousandths indicator due to just surface movement. Okay, we are raising. The rod is coming up. So we are going to loosen this angular adjustment screw. And run our indicator back towards the chuck. Okay, let's take our angular, or our rotational misalignment out now.
Okay, we're running about one and a half, ten thousandths. Now let's come out here and see how we're doing. We're running about three ten thousandths. Okay, we're going to make an adjustment on our angular. Adjustment screw. And we got about one and a half ten thousand. About two ten thousandths. So we're going to make an adjustment on our rotational. And get us into that about one ten thousandths movement. And there are we're about two ten thousandths. The beauty of this system is the action is dialed in in a stress free environment meaning we're not actually jacking our jacking bolts around on the receiver, making it out of round, as well as putting stress from front to back on the receiver. Therefore, when we let go of this receiver when we're done machining it, it's not going to move back to its stress-free position with our newly Trude surfaces moving as well. And here we are with our Trude Up Remington 700 receiver in the True Bore Alignment System. Now we're going to show you how to use the true bore alignment system to dial in a barrel for threading and chambering. Right here is uh, our SSG range rods that take two pilots, same pilots you'd use on say a PTG chambering reamer. And there's a spacer pilot to keep them apart. We're going to slide it in the bore. We want to make sure they're not a press fit, just a nice, nice slip fit. Pull that back so the shoulder of the rod's not touching the barrel. And we'll bring our indicator down. Same concept as we showed you earlier in the action trim video. Changed 
since I trued up some bolts and had a, I set it up with a mandrel in it. So this barrel is actually quite, quite straight. So let's take our rotational run out out. About got this barrel dialed in. Running about plus or minus one ten thousandths. Up close to the barrel. And we're seeing some rod flex and bushing slop. About a thousandths in about four inches. And we're running about plus or minus a ten thousandths. Actually, plus or minus about a half a ten thousand, four inches out. And we are ready to make some cuts. Alright, now that the barrel's dialed in, we're going to tighten up our spider here, just to keep the barrel from whipping. Here we have turned the barrel shank for the thread ten. with the true board alignment system. Alright, the threads are now cut for the receiver. We are going to demonstrate we have two full, two full thread wraps. And here is the wobble on our receiver. Just right there, yet it turns nice and easy. It's one of the reasons for blue pinning the receiver is to make nice round true threads that make the true threads on the barrel.